Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to talk about how naked short selling has just been proven as a fact and how this caused the AMC stock price not to squeeze last week like I and many others thought it would and how this leaves hedge funds like Citadel in big big trouble. So stay tuned and let's make some money. But guys before I get into the video I just want to give a quick shout out to the 700 of you that have got that notification bell dinged because you guys are always the first to watch a new video. So guys be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding that notification bell so that you don't miss another video just like this one. Now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So this post on Reddit does a really good job of explaining why AMC didn't blow up last week when it should have and how it correlates with AMC being on the threshold securities list. Very important. So as we know, AMC was supposed to have some beautiful apish price action on the week of June 21st to June 25th due to the T plus 35 failure to deliver cycle. People were very disappointed that nothing happened, myself included, but the DD was absolutely correct. So as we know, AMC was added to the threshold securities list. So what is that threshold securities list? Well, this is the list here. On the 25th of June, we can see that AMC was added to that threshold securities list. We know that because if we go back to the 24th, it's not there. As of today, the 29th, it's still on that list and should still be on that list tomorrow, Wednesday the 30th. The definition of that threshold securities list is a threshold list, also known as a Regulation SHO Threshold Securities List, is a list of securities whose transactions failed to clear during the previous days. Threshold lists are published in accordance with regulations set out by the SEC. A threshold list is a list of securities that failed to settle in the previous five trading days. These settlement figures may be indicative of naked short selling, although they may be caused by benign factors such as administrative errors. I personally think that it's quite unlikely to be just caused by administrative errors, but we can't solely highlight naked short selling. Failures to deliver are not necessarily 100% indicative of naked short selling, as they can result from both long transactions and short sales. Basically, if a firm or a hedge fund can't locate the shares to short, it is a naked short sale. But if they also can't locate the shares to buy, but they still want to buy the shares, it might be reported as a failure to deliver. So what's the criteria to get on that threshold securities list? Well, there have to be aggregate fails to deliver at a registered clearing agency of 10,000 shares or more. There also has to be a level of fails equal to at least one half of 1% of the issuer's total shares outstanding. This post on Reddit then does a good job of looking at the numbers. AMC's got 513 million shares outstanding and 0.5% of that is 2.565 million shares. This means that the hedgies avoided the failure to deliver cycle for all of last week, five consecutive days, and that every single day the failures to deliver were higher than 2.565 million shares. If the AMC stock was added to that threshold list on the 25th of June, that means that it had met the requirements, the failure to deliver requirements, for five consecutive days. Today, as of Tuesday the 29th, it's been on that list for nine days. Take out the weekend makes seven days. The post says that here's the most exciting part. It said that if a stock is on the threshold securities list for 13 days, then they'll be literally forced to cover all of those failure to deliver positions. Remember, it takes five days to be listed. So it's now been on there for seven days. I can tell you one thing, if, and if I say if, AMC stays on this threshold list for 13 days, it's boom, boom, candles time. So what is it with that 13 day time period? Well, the SEC website suggests that although as a result of compliance with Rule 204, generally a participant's fail to deliver position will not remain for 13 consecutive settlement days. If, for whatever reason, a participant has a failure to deliver position at a registered clearing agency for 13 consecutive settlement days, the requirement to close out such position under Rule 203B remains in effect. Rule 203B of Regulation SHO requires that participants of a registered clearing agency must immediately purchase shares to close out fail to deliver positions in threshold securities if the fail to deliver persists for 13 consecutive settlement days. Therefore, if we make it to next Wednesday, the 7th of June, that will make 13 consecutive days and the hedgies will be forced to cover all of those fail to deliver positions or those naked short selling positions. If we have a look at how that stacks up on the AMC chart, we can see that the AMC stock price is still within this bullish pendant. 
the 7th of June places us even closer to the end of that pendant. I and many others did actually expect that AMC stock to squeeze as of last week because it was still inside this smaller pendant. As you can see, the AMC stock did break out of that pendant and return back inside. So maybe the AMC short squeeze will start towards the end of this week or towards the end of next. When those funds are forced to cover their failure to deliver position, they'll have to buy back large amounts of the AMC stock, causing it to break bullishly and upwards through this pendant and on towards new highs over that $72, $77 mark. Guys, if you want to pick up some shares in AMC, but you haven't even yet signed up to a trading platform, be sure to check out the links down in the description below to get some free shares. You can currently get two free shares worth up to $1,850 with Webull at the moment, if you're in the US, or a free share with free trade worth up to £200 if you're in the UK or in Europe. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers!